Hi everyone and welcome back to Good Iron and Grace. Today I am sharing a Sunday reset. It's been a little while since I've shared one of these, but we just really needed to tackle some things in our house. I had actually been gone this weekend. We had a death in our family and had to travel out of town for the funeral. Uh, we left on Thursday around lunchtime and didn't get back till Saturday night. So this was Sunday after church and my house had just been a disaster. So I'm just showing you some of the areas I'm going to be working on today. We had laundry, dishes, all kinds of things that needed to be done. And so I just came home from church, changed out of my church clothes, put on something comfortable, and we're going to get started cleaning. I'm going to start by getting a load of laundry going. I had two or three loads that needed to be done on this day, so I wanted to go ahead and get one started. And you will see Axel throughout this video. He follows me around anytime I'm up doing anything. Rowdy was actually at my mom's. He went home with her after church. And you'll see Kenny in like one clip right here in the beginning. And then he went to school for a football coaches meeting. So I was at home by myself or with Axel. And so I just turned on some music and got this cleaning done. I didn't want to start the school week with my house looking like this. I try to stay on top of things like my dishes and laundry, but this week had just been crazy. And with us being gone, I just got behind. So I just wanted to take a few hours on this day and get it back in an order that we weren't starting the school week off in chaos. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Do any of you have a catch-all area in your home? I feel like my laundry room is definitely that place. When we come in from our carport, which is right here in the laundry room, everything just gets thrown on this counter, and it becomes cluttered so fast. Keep on searching for my
My whole laundry room really needs a good deep clean and pick up, but I just didn't have time to do that today, so I was just going to pick up the toys and things that were in here, and then I had Rowdy's little floaties in my bog bag that have been in here for an embarrassingly long amount of time, so I wanted to get those things put up, and then I just picked up the toys and stuff off the floor, and I'll just have to do a deep clean in here and get everything else straightened up on a different day, but that was not on the to-do list today, but then I fixed myself a caramel iced coffee so it would give me the energy to tackle this kitchen. So I know that this video and the video that posted before were a little different than my normal content. I've been sharing a lot of decorating, shopping, and hauls lately, and I still have a few more fall decorating videos coming, but I thought it'd be fun just to kind of mix it up and share a few different things as well. So you'll have to let me know if you enjoyed the Cook With Me marathon, if you missed it, that posted on Wednesday, and then if you like the Sunday resets. I know I don't share them often, but I have lots of friends that I follow here on YouTube that share Sunday resets every week or every other week, and I know that it gives me lots of motivation whenever I watch their videos. So let me a comment down below and let me know if you like cook with me, clean with me videos, because I do enjoy sharing those every once in a while mixed in with all of the decorating, thrifting, and all of those kinds of videos too. Okay, so as you watch me finish unloading my dishwasher and then we're going to start loading it up with all of the ones in my sink, um, I do have another question for you guys. I know last year I started sharing my Christmas Shop With Me videos at the end of October, mid to end of October. Um, is that something y'all would be interested in me doing again? I know that is even before Halloween, but kind of like with fall, I feel like with Christmas, you have to start shopping early, especially like as a content creator, I feel like, uh, you know, if, if we're going to share these stores and decor that the stores have out with you guys, we need to get it out early so you can see what the stores have and what you might be interested in purchasing for your Christmas decor. So I always decorate for Christmas early. 
like the very beginning of November. I did that before I started YouTube. Um, it's because I love Christmas decorations and I want to be able to enjoy them. I usually take mine down the beginning of January. So I want, you know, to have them up for longer than just a month. So decorating for Christmas early is just something that I've done for many years, usually around the beginning of November. So let me know down below in the comments if you would be interested in me starting to share some Christmas shop with me's at the, or like the middle of October is probably when I think I'm going to start sharing those. Um, let me know if you would be interested in that and seeing that. I don't know if I'll share, you know, the hauls right then. Um, I know last year I kind of did some shop with me and then I might have done one or two like big Christmas haul videos. And of course, I'll take you um, thrifting for Christmas decor. That's one of my favorite things to do. We have a local store that does like a Christmas open house at the beginning of November. I plan to take you all there um for that this year and film that and share with you anything i get from that so just leave your comments or your thoughts down below um i love to get you guys' opinion on things and i would love for you to let me know i was lost i was lost without any direction had a line so many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. Mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no, mm -hmm. but I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh, cause something's broken. And I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Without me mm -hmm. I have tried, oh I have tried I can always tell when I need to refill my finish jet dry in my dishwasher because when I start taking out my dishes and they still have water on them, uh, I just refill this up and this is like a game changer. I just love this stuff and it does a really good job of helping my dishes get dry in my dishwasher. These little things that I'm washing right now are actually for your Keurig. You can put your coffee grounds in them and run that through your Keurig instead of purchasing K-Cups. We just got this, so I haven't used it yet, but I can link it down below, the um, little pack of these that we got off of Amazon in case you're interested. I'm excited to try them out because K-Cups can be really expensive. We do like to drink cold iced coffee most of the time but as the weather gets cooler I like warm coffee um, and so we purchased a lot of k-cups during the fall and winter time so I will definitely link this down below in case you're interested in checking something like this out and now I'm going to use my favorite cleaning uh, product of all time it's my Mrs. Meyers uh, baking soda cream cleanser I don't know if you can see it as far away as I have the camera I should have zoomed up on it but I had a few like uh rusted 
spots in my sink from where something had just been sitting there for too long and this stuff takes it right off like I have not found a stain yet that this cannot remove so it is one of my favorite if not my top favorite cleaning product of all time and I love to use it on my white sink Now I'm just going to start clearing everything off of my counters. We had, like I mentioned earlier, gone to Louisiana for a funeral and I had some snacks and things that we had taken still packed in this bag over here and then also just random things collect on the counter. And so I was just going to get all that put up and then I'm going to spray it and wipe it down. We were going to be cooking with some of this stuff soon, so I did leave a little bit of that. But to spray my counters and clean them, I'm using my apple cider uh, multi-surface spray. This is from Mrs. Myers, and I love it. I have the whole set. I have the multi-surface spray, the dish soap, hand soap, and room spray, and I love it. It smells so good and perfect for fall. Now I'm just going to restock this drawer in our refrigerator with some protein shakes that me and Kenny like to drink in the morning sometimes and then also some uh, Capri Suns for Rowdy.
Now I'm just going to quickly wipe my oven off and there was one spot that didn't want to come off. I had to get my little sponge and kind of scrub it a little bit and then I decided to light a candle. I just moved this candle right here to the middle of my oven and lighting a candle for me just feels like I have completed a task and that's my little reward and I was so happy to have this kitchen cleaned. So like I mentioned earlier, Rowdy was at my mom's on this afternoon. Usually I do get him to pick up his toys. We didn't have that many out because we had not been home that long. Usually there's a lot more than this. But I just quickly picked them up in the few pair of shoes that we had here in the living room. And I'm going to run my little Yuffie robot vacuum. So I always have to pick up this little rug that's in front of our door because if I don't, the vacuum cleaner will get hung on it. So I just shook it off real quick and then I'm going to run my vacuum. I love this thing and you know, it cleans my floors and I don't have to. So definitely recommend getting you a little robot vacuum if you don't have one. This desk in our room just becomes an extension of our closet. It's just so easy to come in and throw stuff on this desk, especially clothes. So I'm just going to take a minute to get most of them hung up. There were a few things that belonged to Kenny that I wasn't sure what he was doing with, so I did leave them on there. But the majority of these were mine, some I'd actually used for a video that I filmed like a week before this, and they still were laying right here. So I'm going to take a minute to get these put up. Now that this load of clothes are finished, I am going to put them in the dryer and then I'm going to go ahead and start a load of towels. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that this brought you some cleaning motivation, just some motivation to tackle some things in your home so that you can get started off on the right foot for a new week. It's nice to just take a little bit of time on Sundays and prepare for the week ahead.
Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6, 26. Sweet friends, I hope that you all have a very blessed week. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!